Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome to a special map look at Aggravation. This is the brand new pack that's just gone live on the Mod Hub for console users. This has been available for about a month or so for PC guys. Uh, we now finally have our hands on it. And this is the map that was the winning entry in the Horsch category, the Aggravation category of the 2017 Mod Contest, designed by... Uh, Vertex Design. This is based on a real-world testing facility that Horsch have, and a lot of the equipment that is in the pack as well is a sort of one-off prototype equipment or specialized equipment, you know, a lot of which hasn't actually been seen in the real world. It's kind of, uh, you know, kept at this testing facility. And it's not available for mass purchase. So uh, it's going to be quite interesting to actually have a look at this. It's a very very big file i'll warn you now at uh, 226 megabytes or so for the vehicle pack and then if you want to play on the aggravation pack you need to have that vehicle pack installed as well and the map pack is 669 megabytes absolutely massive by far and away the biggest map file we've had on console to date so beware that having both the aggravation vehicles and map is going to eat up nearly a quarter of your total mod storage on console that's just something to be wary of if you've got a few different maps you're almost certainly going to have to delete at least one of them to make space for this mod pack but anyway let's uh, dive right in and take a closer look at aggravation right so let's see exactly where we are we're up in the top right corner it uh, looks as though we have two fields that we actually start the map with, fields three and four. Everything else appears to be purchasable. Uh, we also have a very, very large sort of testing yard up here by the look of it. Uh, so let's have a little wander around and see what we can see. Now this appears to be a route to the main road. Yeah, there we go. And straight away you can see just how good the quality of this map looks in terms of the visuals look how sharp this sign is the writing on that is really clear I love the slightly glossy look on it as well I'm just going to have a quick look at this house an idea of some of the texture qualities on here it looks pretty sharp you can see a little bit of fuzziness in some of the smaller details like the windows and, and the doors but you know, these solid items here like the gates really really sharp really strong and these fences as well just looking down here, it looks to be very, very pretty. Uh, so let's go and actually take a proper wander around inside here and see what we can see. This is all going to be completely new to me. I've deliberately avoided taking a look at uh, the PC version of Aggravation because I wanted it to be nice and special the first time I got my hands on it for consoles. Uh, again, you can see really good uh, close-up detail on the writing. Yeah, it's just little features like that that help make a map look really, really strong. It's also one of the reasons why this map file is going to be so big, because you know, it's going to have such a high level of detail. So you can see we've got this sort of entranceway and a car park over here. Just having a wander around. We've got our first equipment shed by the look of it. We've got a pressure washer. We wander through. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we've got a man truck and a Flegel trailer. We've got a couple of these Horsch uh, transport trailers and another man truck as well. So getting a lot of it, big equipment just to start with. Is this an opening door? It is. Oh, that's nice. And what have we got in here? We've got this new seed hopper, the seed tender. I really like the, the concept of this. You can actually store uh, seed and fertilize in this and then you can unfold the arm and uh, use it to sort of fill up your cedars and fertilizing units in the field, which is really cool. I think this is a water transport truck. I might be wrong. Might be a slurry spreader. What else do we have here? We have a standard challenger. There is a, uh, here it is. Nope, this is a standard challenger as well, I think. Or is this, I know there are a couple of different concept challenges in here that have narrow track treads. Maybe. 
Maybe we have to actually get those uh, a different way. This is the uh, sprayer here, this uh, horse sprayer. This thing looks awesome. Actually, I'm going to jump inside and have a look at this in the cab. This is really nice. <laughs> And do these side doors open as well? Yes, they do. And it looks some uh, little uh, static uh, pieces of scenery. Well, I thought they were static. Can I actually? I can. We've got some little jacks here that I can actually pick up. Little placeable objects like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, what do we have around the back here as well? Just uh, a nice selection of tools and workbenches and things. And we do have lights in here as well. That's nice. So as we come out here, we can see we've got a whole wealth of extra equipment over here as well. So this is the fertilizing tank here. Uh, you can see it's tracked. There's quite a lot of tracked equipment in this, I have to say. Uh, and we've got a cultivating unit here that can also, obviously, uh, you know, you can see with these pipes, can also spread uh, slurry while it's cultivating. This is uh, the Horsch Evo cedar. Uh, this is a 12 meter cedar which will cultivate I think and will also you know, fertilize as well as planting. This is kind of reminiscent of the horse cedar that we had uh, back in Farming Sim 15. I think that was the Titan. This might be a modified version of the Titan. Uh, that had a sort of a, 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 a pivoting axle at the back between the cultivating tank and uh, or the cultivating frame and the seed tank. Uh, this is all one fixed tank by the look of it. It's all fixed in position. This is a fertilizer spreader. Again, you can see we have another uh, tracked piece of equipment here. It's quite big as well, isn't it? This has a 36 meter working width, I think, if memory serves me correct. And uh, here we go. This is one of the narrow tracked challengers. So you can see that you know it's got these spacers mounted here and then these narrow uh, tracks here to help you know, prevent crop damage. So if you're playing with uh, crop destruction, this could be a very, very useful piece of equipment indeed. Got another Flegel trailer here. We have um, the Horsch Titan uh, Auger Wagon here, and this one is a track variant. Obviously we have the wheeled variant as a mod. Uh, this is the tracked version that comes with the aggravation pack. Same capacity, 34,000 litres, but really quite nice. I do like the look of that. Actually looks a bit nicer than the uh, the one that we already have. A few little pallets there for us to play about with. We've got uh, a larger version, I think, of uh, uh, the corn seeder. I'm trying to know what that's called now. Let's have a look. Let's go into brands. That'll be the quickest and easiest way to find it. Uh, the Maestro. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's the Evo Cedar. Here's a, a larger version of the Maestro. So again, it'll do the same root crops as before, uh, but it has you know uh, a wider working width of 12 meters as opposed to 9 meters. That's going to make uh, uh, it really fun doing corn harvesting, I think. Uh, we've been given a Manitou wheel loader as well. Sorry, telehandler. Uh, we've got some more opening doors on the side there. More light switches. I'm guessing these external lights are going to be time sensitive. And then over here we've got another building. What's in this one? Anything at all? Or is this just empty? This is just an empty building. But let's just have a wander over and see. I like this shelving rack. If we could actually get in this and put pallets in that, that would be quite nice. But, you know, obviously these... Uh, these chicken wire grates on the front are going to stop that from being anything. So that's basically just a placeable by the look of it. Um, unless... Are these individual empty pallets that we can maybe fill stuff into? I wonder. Might have to play about with that later. Let's uh, head out the other side. And that's the back of the facility. Oh, we have nuggets on this map as well. Awesome. So not only do we get this huge map with a wealth of equipment, we actually get gold nuggets to find as well. That's going to be interesting. Normally I like to have a little explore when I uh, look at a map before I actually start recording, but because it's taken me so long to get this one installed, 
I've wanted to just kind of jump straight into it. Plus, you know, I wanted to really kind of have that complete wow factor for this rather than, you know, getting those surprises early on and then having to try and, you know, recreate them a little bit. Uh, nice fuel dump here by the look of it as a, as a fuel point. So where are we on the map? Are we here? Uh, we've seen... Oh, we've got more equipment over here. My God, look how much they give us. We've got two of these CR1090s. And is it me, or do these look a little bit different? I think it's just me. These look a little bit different from the front. I don't know. I think that's just me. Um, we've got two headers as well. These are the 41 foot headers uh, mounted on trailers rather than having the 45 foot drapers. Uh, what else do we have here? Here's we, uh, a series of cultivators by the look of it. So I'm going to have to refer to our little guide as, w as well. Is that the Pronto? I think this might be the Pronto. Let's have a look. Let's go back into the Horsch equipment list. Um, so, yeah, that looks like it might well be a Pronto. So we have, uh, I think the easiest way to do this is going to be like this. So we have, on the far end, we do have a Pronto. It was the Pronto. Then we have a Cruiser. Uh, we saw that there's a Joker in there as well. There's the Joker. So this small one here is the Joker. This is the Cruiser. So what's this one here? Let's see if we can figure it out from the images. Ah, no, no, no. The small one. The small one's a Tiger, then the Joker, then the Cruiser. So there we go. So that's Tiger, then Joker, then Cruiser. So we've got three brand new cultivators for us to try out there. And then an original uh, cedar as well. I think that's all of the equipment that we're given at the start. There's so much of it. Look at this big open area here as well. I'm guessing we could probably put some placeables in this area. Let's just uh, try and see if we can actually place something. Let's find something cheap and big and see if we can plonk it down. Uh, let's see. Something cheap and big. One of these. Can we actually place anything in this area? No, that's a bit of a shame. It's uh, part. Yeah, you tend to find that on some maps is that you have areas where you can't. Although we can place something here by the look of it, if we wanted to maybe add additional storage or maybe put some seed tanks or maybe a silo or something in there. Um, so we've got some area that we can build on here. Other than that, it looks to be just like a large flat area. Let's take a look at the other side of the yard because we obviously we've covered you know that side down the left and then around the bottom. Uh, let's take a look in this building. Uh, that door doesn't open, but I'm guessing. Ah, no, this looks to be maybe. Maybe there's, this is just a static piece of scenery. The doors aren't opening on that one, so maybe there's nothing actually in that. Let's try around the other side. Yeah. Nothing opening. So that looks to be maybe a static piece of scenery. I saw something pop up a second ago then. Alright, let's try this one here. I think this one again might be static. That door does not look... Yeah, that's that's just a, a placeable... And same again. Yeah, these aren't openable doors, so that's a piece of static scenery as well. Uh, but a really, really big yard for us to play about with. And a huge amount of equipment as well. I'm just going to test over here. Uh, now this one will open. What have we got here? This is a really nice bay. This would be a really good bay for tractors, I think. You could just park all your tractors and have an individual sort of bay within here, you know, behind the door. That's a really nice little building. I like that. Can we open this side door here? Yes, we can. So this one we can actually go in and we can walk all the way around that way. That's really cool. I like that. That's really, really nice. I don't think these ones are going to open, are they? Oh, no, these open as well. Look at this. We've got individual garages. My God, look at all the space that we have on this map for storing things. My God, there's just so much of it. I'm going to open all of these just in case there's a nugget hiding in here as well. <laughs> I 
This is incredible. Look at all those. So you could have maybe small tractors in there and then large vehicles in here. It's up to you exactly what you want to do. Uh, this appears to be our workshop bay, so uh, it looks as though we can actually bring vehicles in here to, to work on. I wonder if we can actually sell at that point as well. Let's, uh, let's just grab something and see. Actually, we'll, we'll leave the forks there. Drop those off. Let's take the Manitou over to the cell box. Or the you know the vehicle box and see if we can sell there as well, or if it's literally just a maintenance-only box. I'm amazed how much equipment. If you sell all the starting equipment on this, you would make millions. Let's see. Let's test this out. No, it's just a customization box. We can't sell that. That's kind of what I expected. Um, so, I think. We should jump into one of the new uh, challenges. One of the narrow track ones to do our little sort of drive around. I need to turn off that automatic engine start because it drives me nuts. I'm just in the habit of uh, turning on and off. We'll zoom out a bit as well so we can really get a good view. So we start with fields three and four. Now these are here, and we have a shot here. So ah, so this this big area here, that you can see the shop symbol. Uh, this is obviously where our vehicles are delivered to. But I don't actually see a, a, an icon for us to actually go and purchase from. That's missing. So, but it looks as though this is where stuff will be delivered to. So let's just test that. Let's just uh, get a small tractor and we'll lease that in and see if it spawns in that area, so. Yes, there it is. So you can see any, any equipment that we purchase will pop up in this open courtyard area just here. Okay, so that's that kind of mystery solved. Let's make our way over here. Look at the size of these BGA bunkers, they're massive. at the size of these things. Looks like we've got a little bit of a visual tear just there. You can see some grass poking through. Look at the size of these things. They're massive. Two absolutely huge, ginormous ones. And then is that a gap between them or is that actually a bunker as well? Let's see. Now this is a bunker as well, look. So... You've got two massive ones and then two slightly shorter ones, but still pretty damn big. And then over here looks to be our slurry tank. As we're entering the cow yard now. Yeah, there's our slurry trigger just there, look. So I have to say I'm liking the out the exterior look of this cow shed. Are these opening doors here. Yes they are. And look at this. We've got a water trough inside. That's that's something that we haven't seen before. A water trough inside our sort of uh, cow shed. I wonder where the feed goes. Have we got uh, interactive zone markers on? Yes, we do. And there's a food trough just there as well. You see we've got the cow scratchers there. That's not a door. And then these doors are going to roll up as well, aren't they? Oh, animal dialogue box is just here. So this is where we can buy our cows. And that kind of extends outside the front as well. And then we've got another roll door here. Obviously that one opens up. Same at the other end. That's the door that doesn't open. This one... Does this one open? Nope, that one doesn't. That's the milk tanks. I wonder if PC players actually get to use... You know, that for you know milk deliveries that is a feature that I would love to have on console is the ability to to sell milk manually but you know we just don't have that script maybe in farming sim 19 maybe giants will actually add it in as a mod who knows 
That's a really big cow shed there. And it looks like we've got another one here as well. Is this exactly the same? Got double roll doors. And it is. Look, we've got another one of these massive uh, areas here. But no troughs in here, though, by the look of it. So the first one is the food trough. This is just, you know, an additional, you know, uh, area that's kind of marked in. There's those milk tanks. And again, these uh, double doors don't open here. I tell you what, the facility here is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. Let's get back in our uh, tractor and have a drive around. Did I just see a light switch? I did. So we have got full lights in here as well. And it'll be the same in the other one, I'm guessing. Massive area for our cows there. Not entirely sure exactly where the straw's going to go. I'm guessing somewhere in the uh, in the middle where their food trough is. There's no markers at all on this map. But yeah, look at that size of that cow, you know, cow facility there. Two huge, great big barns like that. Another little car park over there. Looks like we might have a placeable area over there as well. You can just see that brown patch of ground. Check that out on the way back. Is this our silos? That looks to be our downpipe, perhaps. Or are these individual downpipes? I think we need a trailer. Let's go back and get a trailer. See if we can test this out. Because we should have some uh, you know, small levels of crop in our silos. Because we're playing on medium. So... I didn't actually see a standard trailer. Oh, we've got the truck. Let's bring a truck over. It's going to be quicker. I'll just move this out of the way to here. Let's grab one of those trucks. There it is. Oh, we're not hooked up. That could be a problem. <laughs> This is going to be a long video, I think. I think you're probably going to be pushing the hour mark for the first time on one of these tours, just because this just looks so special. It's, this is a proper professional farm facility. So it's going to take us a moment to kind of figure everything out. It's, it's very different to what we're used to. So are these individual silo pipes? No. So these are scenic pipes. Is this our grain hopper then for retrieving our grain? I think this must be. Again, there's no markings anywhere. Yes, here we go. And look at the size of that storage. How many zeros is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A hundred million litres of storage. <laughs> My God. <laughs> That's insane. A hundred million litres. Wow. Uh, what can we actually hold in here? Just grains by the look of it. Uh, and then I'm guessing that's our drop-off point. So we're going to test that quickly as well. Let's just unload the wheat. That'll do. So this, I'm guessing, is going to be where we tip the grain. Yeah, you can see it's gone straight back into our storage. So there's our tip point. And look at the size of those silos. 100 million litres. That's massive. All right. Let's get back in our Challenger and continue our little exploration. Uh, what is over here? I'm amazed just how big this facility is. Is this just scenery? A nice little car park there. Or do we actually have something over here? I think this is just scenic. But look at this though. I've got to see if those double doors open up, those roller doors there. Don't tell me they do. Nope, they don't. Oh, uh, I, thought <laughs> I thought that would be a bit much. Uh, I'm going to check this one over here as well. No, this doesn't. I uh, didn't think so, but uh, pretty big facility so far. 
So let's uh, carry on touring around. What are these pallets? Uh, they're just boxes. And we still haven't even covered half of the facility yet. Uh, well, we've covered about half of the facility. We've still got all the stuff on the other side of this road, look. This thing is truly massive. Let's have a wander down here. Is there anything else further on this side or another access point? Might all be gated off and then lead off to the fields. Yeah, it's all gated off. So we'll come back and have a look at that again in a minute. Uh, this appears to be access to our fields. So we drive down here. There's another access point for our silo just there with, a, I think, a waybridge just there as well. Yeah. And then we've got access to field three here. It's a pretty small looking field, really, in the uh, grand scheme of things. And then field four next to it. That's a much bigger field, isn't it? You can see just how big that field is. And then look at the size of this cornfield here. This is huge. I think we've got a little water feature down there. You can see we've got the uh, kind of stream that runs all the way down to that big lake. We've got a little uh, water feature there. Let's go take a quick gander at that. I'm also curious as to what that little brown patch is, the other side of Field 9. Is that a placeable area for us? Oh, this looks lovely. We're going to cut across this field. Well, no, it's not a placeable area, but you could turn it into one. You can see that we've got the dirt texture showing up through the grass. So, uh, in, in patches, it's not completely like that. But you could plough that area, use a roller to then reset it back. And then those areas that are brown, you would just have the brown dirt texture showing through. So you could potentially put something there if you wanted to. And then we've got those uh, little bits there of field nine. Let's uh, let's make our way back over to the facility. I'm going to check out the rest of that facility because obviously there's all that other stuff that we haven't looked at yet. This is definitely a big, big map. I'm getting the feeling we probably should have taken something a little bit faster than this little challenger. I think we should probably switch to a truck. Uh, let's. Let's take this truck. Something that can move a little bit faster. So we need to make our way into that other section, the other side of that road. So we need to head back this way. Cross here. And then, so we turned left last time. We're going to go straight on this time. There we go. Now we can head down here. See, we're leaving by the look of it. There's that really large facility that side. Oh, no, we're back where we were. Uh, so we didn't go far enough across. Because that's the road that we took a moment ago to go out to the fields. So we need to go across a little bit more as well. look in here oh we can't we can't open this door all right let's let's, let's have a wander around on foot because i'm sure there'll be a nugget or two in here somewhere as well loads more pallets and boxes and got some empty sheds here which you know we don't have access to, at least not from that part, you know, that field there anyway, not that gate. It's a big old facility, this, that we just can't do anything with by the look of it. There's a nugget. I knew there'd be something around here. Nugget number two. <laughs> Loads more to go. This is the Caltex facility, by the look of it. A Textron company. And it's still, it continues all the way down there as well. This thing is just insanely far. And look at the quality of the barbed wire. That looks really good, even pretty close up. Right, 
let's get back to our truck. So we can't go that way. Let's get to the main road. Kind of loop back around a bit. Some nice houses to look at. As we drive past, you can see kind of like this area here, this little village area, just on the edge of the facilities. And then we're back up the top here at the main yard. So really impressive sort of opening look over here. We're going to head back down now towards that second fuel dump and we're going to follow the road along and then make our way over to where the, uh, the sheep and the cows and sorry, the sheep and the pigs and the chickens are. And then from there, actually I just want to quickly see how much is field two. How expensive is this field? Because this isn't the largest field by a long shot, but it'll give us a good idea of how much things are in this map. Two and a half million for a 30 hectare field. That's not too bad, actually. It's uh, more expensive than New Bartleshagen, which has already been removed from the mod hub, most certainly because of the uh, the nudie pics inside one of the warehouses. Um, hopefully that'll get amended and re-uploaded soon. But definitely cheaper than uh, Mustang Valley. You know, the price for a 33 hectare field is three million there, so um, not a bad price, two and a half million. So, can we get in here? This one we can open. And I think there's a fuel dump inside here. Yes, there is. So, I wonder if anything else is functional in here. These doors aren't. That's to be expected. Well, we do have a, uh, a refuel point just here. By the look of it. Oh, no, no, this is a vehicle maintenance box. We can actually sell here. So this is, this must be the store then. This is the proper store. So, or, well, kind of. Obviously, we've got the delivery area, but this is where we actually come to sell our vehicles. Okay, that's good to know. So there's a fuel... Oh, there's the fuel tanker, look. Right round the corner. Let's get a little top up there. And then we've got access to uh, field three, which is that monster sized field. I am going to cut across field three briefly because, uh, sorry, field seven, not field three. I want to see just how expensive that field is. Uh, and I can't because of the fence. All right, we'll, we'll check that in a, a bit later. Let's uh, get back on the road head over to the other animals and check out that village over there. If I could stop swerving all over the road, that would be helpful. I think I should probably put my beacons on. Warning. Reckless driver. It looks like we might potentially have some sort of grain elevator storage building over in the distance. Just starting to come into view size of this field it's huge absolutely massive field that's going to be uh, a lot of hassle to work in times of time we've got a little turn off just here it goes over a bridge a little dried up riverbed underneath this is really nice we drive into this village. Very tight roads around here. So you have to be careful with you bringing your trucks in. Is this... Is this a water point, I wonder? Or is this just a bit of scenery? Maybe we'll have to get a, you know, a water truck up here at some point in the future and test that out. But that might be a water point just there. It would make sense, given where the animals are. are. You know, the fact that the animals are up here. Speaking of which, <coughs> we're going the wrong direction. We want to go check out the pigs, which are up here. Make our way over. Here is the pig farm. Alright, so let's do this on foot. This door doesn't open. Uh, we've got a silage point, oh, sorry, slurry point just there. Another door that won't open. I'm guessing these won't either. Nope. Uh, this is our dialogue box. Quite a big box, actually. And then we've got food troughs and water troughs all there. 
So where's the straw point? I would imagine that's going to be in this area as well. Let's see if we can take a look around the side. I don't see another access point. So I'm guessing straw will go in, in that area as well. Again, it's not marked on the map. You know, very little actually is. There's very few interaction zones actually marked. Oh, we've got another nugget. It's three. So we can naturally just find the other nuggets as we're going. All right, let's take a look at the sheep. We want to be on the road over here. Very small little field just there. Look, that looks to be a free field. No number on it. And here is our sheep. So we have... Uh, this is probably going to be where our wool is spawned in this box here. Check for a nugget. No. Um, this is our food trough for grass and hay. Here is our water trough. And where is our interaction box? Our dialogue box? Just here. This sort of block just here. That's our dialogue box. So I, I thought it might be here but it looks to be a little off center so it extends into this area just here and also for the other side of it as well this is where we'll actually be able to add sheep directly and then drop off any deliveries as well I wonder can we get in here oh we can on there no I thought there were individual doors it's just one gate that opens is the other one gonna open yep there he goes Oof, that's fast Look at this facility. This looks posh and swanky. Can we actually open any of these doors? Oh, these ones do. Look at this. Oh, look at these. These are amazing. Is that side door open? No, it's not a door. It's just a, a block. No lights in here, but... Very, very pretty. And I'm guessing we have the same here as well. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. Nice little house over here. <laughs> I, always, I always check garages now. Ever since Farming Sim Platinum came out, we had that garage at the house. There's another nugget. Uh, will this gate open? No. That's the main gate that we came in. And we got more as well. No door there, but around this side, these open. There's some nice open bayed areas just there. And then in here, uh, this looks to be an animal enclosure. Is this for the sheep? I'm guessing this is for the sheep. come around the back. We've got a little side door here. Very large sort of area over here. We didn't see, I didn't see where the uh, manure was stored at the pig. I might have to go back and check that in a second. Really, really impressive looking facility. And this one is actually a double sided door look. You can actually open on, on this one the doors on both sides of the shed. That's really nice. That's a cracking little extra facility for us over here by these animals. Really, really impressed with this so far. Really impressed. You can see why it was the winner. Just so good. Alright, let's have a quick double check. Where does the manure spawn? Can we see anywhere manure-y? Maybe... Let's drive into a tree there. Maybe it's around the other side. Around the back. No. I'm not seeing a manure pit of any kind, so... 
that's an oddity. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one uh, as I uh, inevitably do some playtesting on this map. I still think that might be a water point just there, so uh, be sure to check that out uh, if you get the opportunity. Uh, and then we have chickens just coming up <coughs> over here as well, and I see another nugget resting on the table. So let's grab that and let's see exactly wh where the chickens are. Here's the chickens clucking away. Oh, we've got eggs that spawn inside a building like this. Oh, that's so nice, so we don't have to wander all over the field to try and find eggs. It looks like they all spawn inside the coop. I like that feature. We don't see enough of that on maps, I think. You just see eggs kind of just all over the place and never, you know, in a specific area. We've seen it with Black Sheep Modding. They do it with uh, the Valley of the Old Farm and also with Old Streams. But I can't think of another map that has actually got eggs all spawn in one location like that. Let's check out this field price. 29 hectare field, 2.3 and a half million. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So where are we now? Okay, so we need to take that road down there. And this is going to take us down to our cell points. Oh, we've got a big old slurry tank just here. I see an interaction box around the back. And I also see a compacting level. This... Is this a BGA as well? This must be uh, a flat BGA. We've never had a flat BGA like this with no walls before. I wonder if that's what that is. That I uh, can't wait to try that out if that's the case. I've seen it so many times whenever you see a YouTube video of an American farm. You see this, this big pile being built in the middle of an open courtyard and then they... You see tra uh, tractors just going up and down with levelers and compacting it and, and uh, creating this big sort of sloped heap in the middle of the courtyard. And then they obviously tarpaulin it down and let it ferment there. I think that might be one of those. And that would be a first on consoles if that's the case. I've always wanted to try a bunker side of system like that. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to try that. When we head down here, we have a bakery and a station wool cell point. So this is the bakery. Got a nice cell point ramp just there. Turn around here. We'll check the prices on the, uh, the shop menu system in a moment. And then I think that's the spinnery in there, actually. Let's just jump over the wall if I can. Look for a cell box in here. Yes, here we go. So this uh, this is going to be our wall cell point by the look of it. And then we've got an animal dealership just there. using the Emerson's building style, by the look of it. Yep, there's our interaction box. Alright, where's the next cell point? You can see we've got this kind of uh, side track here that takes us around to the station. tracks. Good to see two tracks. Got a bit of broken down equipment. We've got another nugget just here as well. Getting closer to finding the nugget locations. This is just like a big sort of dumping area over here. You could maybe do something with this. Maybe put a shed of some kind down here if you wanted to. There's another nugget in there. Just spotted it. Oh no, it's not a nugget, it's a warning symbol. <laughs> I thought that was a nugget. Oh dear. 
Um, a little storage shed just there. Uh, so how do we actually access the station? I'm going to be a little bit cheeky. We're going to drive along the tracks. We'll look for the road access in a moment. I like the fact we've got diverging uh, tracks here as well. That's really nice. Got some storage areas just there. A little crossing area just here. So the main access has got to be somewhere along here. These huge concrete uh, storage areas here. Great big massive things. Loop around here, we've got some cars parked in these little barns down here. And is this a cell point? Or is this a grain elevator? I wonder. Should have brought the trailer with me really, I suppose. Um, maybe that's a grain retrieval point. It looks like the elevator might be behind us. If that's not the cell point. Perhaps this is the cell point. Let's have a look. See, it's marking the cell point just there. I'm guessing... I'm guessing we don't actually drive through here, because I don't know if we could actually fit a truck comfortably through there. Let's give it a try. we could so maybe this is actually the tip point again we don't have a trailer with us to actually check this but this could be the tip point just here or it could be that that might even be a grain retrieval point I just I don't know without grain down here to check and test but you know we have a cell point down here we only have the two uh, and that's one of them there is this uh, this looks to be maybe a grain elevator yeah here we go this is a grain elevator for the train so there must be a train lever to send the train off somewhere as well. You know, we've got a tip point just here, and then we've got a retrieval point just here. So where's the where's the train? Unless they're just static bits of scenery. I mean, they, they could just be static bits of scenery. You can see there, you've got the downpipe coming out there to load into a train, but there's no train here. So maybe they're just, you know, just stuff. Yeah, look, the train isn't here. I think that's static. I think that's not act an active piece of scenery. If that's the case, that's a bit of a shame, but uh, understandable, I suppose. You can just see like a, a lumber yard over here as well. I'm going to explore this bit on foot. Again, you can see these train lines coming in and splitting off into different uh, different tracks. So this is the main road that comes down. That's obviously going to be our access point for both both parts of the station. And we've got a cell point here for, I'm guessing, logs. Let's see if we can figure out where the wood um, where the wood chip cell point is, unless it's the same place. Loads and loads of these palleted uh, planks of wood here. Uh, it looks as though uh, maybe this is logs. We have a pallet making uh, factory over here. Uh, again, I don't think we'll be able to use that on console. Uh, maybe the PC users can, but you know, a way to make planks and pallets. But uh, maybe this is our wood cell point, and uh, maybe that's the wood chip cell point just over there. Station sawmill and sta station wood cell. So the station wood cell, where is flashing? Yeah, that's over there. We knew about that one. Um, station sawmill is flashing over here. That's uh, so this. Uh, there's our wood chip box. Look. Yeah, just here is our wood chip cell box. another nugget this is um, oh, are they solar panels 
they are. Look at that. Rows upon rows of solar panels. That's a nice little feature. So nice to see something other than just giant windmills everywhere. Obviously, this is based on a real-world location, so it does make sense that you know, we might have things in here that we've seen working in other games, but don't actually work in this. Uh, in, I'd say other games, other maps. Like the um, grain elevator, that might just be something that's here in real life, but isn't a functional piece of equipment on the map. This is uh, a pretty incredible map in terms of just some of the, the features and details that we've seen so far. Uh, and now we're going to sort of head all the way back up here. I want to check out the pricing on Field 7. It's going to be absolutely massive. And maybe we might see if we can find the last of those th missing nuggets as well. So we've got a side road going off down there. This is a really, really big map. I do wonder if this is maybe an oversized map, you know, the first of the oversized ones, because we haven't seen four by, uh, you know, four times maps make their way onto console in the past. But this one is so big in terms of, you know, file size, it does make me wonder if it's slightly oversized compared to what we, we would normally see. Alright, here we go. Here is our field box. How big is this field? 86 hectares. 6.9 million. Wow, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that one's going to take a while. That's kind of getting up there with Mustang Valley pricing. Hmm. Well, there we go. Um, we've covered most of the map. There's one last little thing I want to do. I want to see if I can find the nuggets. So I'm going to pause for a sec until I can find another couple of nuggets and then I'll come back and show you where the nuggets are. Okay, so I've just found nugget number 10 down here. Uh, I also picked up uh, another couple of nuggets. Um, there's, uh, I, I came down the side of the, the pond here. Uh, and there's one kind of in this little area just over here. And I can't remember where I picked up number eight. But uh, yeah, a couple of nice, it's a really nice scenic area down here. I really do quite like it. There's our nugget location. So you can see we have got quite a few kind sort of dotted around. Some are actually in the fields themselves. Others are obviously around these houses up here. It's kind of expected. Got a whole line of them sort of along the edge of this facility along here so the whole load to collect there and then down here as well you can see we've got this little clump of nuggets all concentrated around these areas down here so uh, there are you know nuggets to find there is an overview of where they are uh, i do hope you've enjoyed this tour uh, it's certainly the longest one i've ever done because we've looked at some equipment as well uh, very briefly albeit um it's a big file and uh, everyone is trying to download this right now so it, they say it took me seven hours to get both packs installed uh, so you will need to be patient with it but uh, yeah I highly recommend that you uh, actually at least check it out at some point in the future just be wary of the size of the file because it is absolutely massive so uh, I'm gonna leave it there thanks all for watching I am Jim Bob and I'll see you again with another map tour very soon